Hey guys, so I got the scanner up here this morning. It's 4.30 in the morning. I'm up early today, past few days actually, and about to go for a run, but wanted to take a look at the market. And we've got NVIDIA still holding above. So it came down here to the 608 exactly. Uh, whole dollar amounts are important, can be important. Uh, and now it's bounced up. And if I were trading right now, you know, I, I probably would have taken a short, uh, a starter position there. And then I would be looking to short it here at 608 to add some. And then I would be looking to add more at 600. I think the 600 level is such a big psychological level for NVIDIA and for the market. So if it breaks that level, maybe we come down to fill this this gap here, 569. Um, but I, I would first look at, uh, yeah, so if you take this 600, let's call it 635. So five. So if you subtract 35 from 600, uh, yeah, so, I mean, this 565 to 570 area could could get hit um, on the downside. Now, on the upside, so we're, we're, we're below this 15-minute candles here. So if you look back, let's, let's get out to a 30-minute. We gapped up slightly here, small, a small, tiny gap uh, on, new, on news, and then we ran up. And we started, we formed this uh, kind of wedge here. Broke out of that, made new highs. But if you look at the daily, here, here's your first warning sign, right? So th this whole thing bottomed here with a hammer candle right there. And, you know, maybe we have a top here, at least a pullback on a more of a shooting star type of candle here. And then you haven't, and that, and that happened on volume, and you haven't been able to close above it so far. All right, so we tried getting above it, and the market said, nope. Uh, there's still sellers that came in. So that's, uh, it's look, I'm looking for downside with it, but on the flip side, you always want to look at both sides of it and understand both. Uh, if it kind of holds here, or maybe dips, get another one of these dips, you have to reclaim that yellow line and then probably get back above this trend line, or maybe it comes down to 600 and then comes back up to test this trend line, the bottom of it. Um, so I think those are your scenarios to look at today. Uh, now we do have the Fed, Jerome, talking today at two. Uh, so personally, or from, I think he's probably going to do what, what he's always done is whatever they're expecting is what he's going to do. Um, but yeah, the yeah, market had a big run up. It just it just needs a breather, and will that breather turn into a bigger correction? I don't know. Just take it one day at a time. Um, but right now, AMT, yeah, it's breaking. And so I've got socks all short, and that, what I'm looking at there, I've been adding to it. Uh, yeah, so so you could see some support here today in this area. Uh, ultimately, what I'm looking for. It's hard to get down at right around this 26 level is where I would want to start taking profit. Uh, so we'll see. I'm not seeing any reason to sell to take profit as of now. It just right now is just clearly headed down. Uh, and you had this shooting star candle here on big volume uh, last week. So that was a sell signal right there. Um, so could we take out, uh, you know, probably going to chop around in here. Nothing goes straight up or straight down. Uh, but if we start to see some bottoming action here, well, then maybe I'll move my stop down or close out. But for now, I'm keeping it at a safe distance and looking for more downside here. Uh, SMCI. Let's see, this SMCI as well. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to look for this to break the five-day head lower. And BDTX, I picked up just a smaller position. Uh, just curling up and we got the volume here. I'm not really sure. And they've got some earnings, but usually these aren't earnings types plays as a small cap. Uh, I like to look at the monthly on these for targets. So let's see if we break above this level, maybe we could get up to here is where it turned around twice. Uh, so I would look for this to move higher and 
we might start to break even and maybe give a little room to work.